Thank you very much and welcome to The Queen's Journey. It's such a pleasure and a privilege to be here with all of you in New York. What a wonderful place, wonderful energy. Queen's Journey, connections between music, between chess, and between dance. The reason Queen's Journey comes to mind, it's a way of maybe combining strength with grace for all our queens a way of connecting, a way of visualizing a process, a journey, looking ahead and having the ability to look ahead. There are so many parallels, for example, eight squares, eight notes, realigning ourselves, changing key. If we can just look ahead before we make a move, before we play a chord, if we can look ahead and visualize where we are going, to really have a framework, a framework from scales and arpeggios, from opening theory, from middle game tactics, a framework that allows us to move forward, to visualize, to leap forward and have the confidence to leap forward and not to have the fear factor because we have the theory behind us. That ability, that self-belief, because all of us have the ability to play chess, play piano, or even to dance. But not all of us have that self-belief. There'll be a moment later on during this event where black team and white team, the eight wonderful queens that we have will be playing each other. They will be competing with each other, coordinating moves and helping each other. And after that moment, they will be cooperating together and singing a song. The harmony of coordination, the order within coordination, the way you have to coordinate your pieces to make them active, the way you coordinate a chord. What is a chord but different notes being coordinated? The space between the notes can be just as important as the notes themselves. Just as playing a move, the space you take before playing the next move can be as important as the move. This ability to think like a ballerina on her feet, on point. Because on point, on point is that primed moment before you move forward, you have to be ready. Before you make your move, you're on point. Before you play the piano, before you talk to someone, you're prepared. This way of being positive, where anything's possible, any possibility out there, you can do. It's not a maybe, it's a must be. And it's a way of thinking, a way of thinking positively. In a chess game, for example, there'll be times um, where there'll be critical points in a game before you play a move. So the difference between maybe a good player and an exceptional player would be someone who knows how much time to take before the move. The silence, the space is as important as the notes, as the moves. The silence between the notes, as important as the notes themselves. So this training, this theory, the Queen's journey, is a way of looking ahead, of leaping ahead. And if you look at your programs, you'll see a ballerina with pace, precision, and power on point. She's preparing herself. She's preparing herself for the journey ahead. She already has envisioned and visualized where she wants to go before she's made that move. She knows where she wants to go. So the Queen's journey is something of a voyage of discovery, a way of thinking, a way of believing. Finding your core, finding your center through theory, through practice, and then applying it. Please join all of us on the Queen's journey together. Thank you very much. <laughs>